the disability activist who put herself on the line for equal rights. Meet Judy Human. Judy lost the use of her legs after a childhood bout with polio and became an activist on her very first day of school. The principal denied me entrance into the school because I couldn't walk, and he said I could be a fire hazard. As an adult, she took the same school district to court when she was banned from teaching, and she won, becoming the first wheelchair user to teach in New York City. When President Nixon vetoed legislation protecting the disabled, once again, Judy was ready to fight. There we were, 50 of us, right. from Brooklyn and Queens and Manhattan and the Bronx, and we decided, okay, we're gonna shut down the streets. They were announcing paraplegic stop traffic in Manhattan, and the police went and got a representative from Nixon headquarters, and they wanted to know what we wanted. What they wanted was equal rights under the law and a little respect. We will no longer allow the government to oppress disabled individuals. And I would appreciate it if you would stop shaking your head in agreement when I don't think you understand what we are talking about. President Nixon signed the Rehabilitation Act into law in 1973, but didn't establish the tools to enforce it. So Judy led an occupation of the federal building in San Francisco that lasted 25 days. That led Nixon to require states to comply with the law, and the modern disability rights movement was born. I can tell you that every time you raise issues of sex but equal, the outrage of disabled individuals across the country is going to continue. It is going to be ignited. There will be more takeovers of buildings until finally maybe you begin to understand our position. Judy didn't stop there. She continued her advocacy, working with Presidents Clinton and Obama on issues like special education and disability rights. She's written a memoir about her life and her work called Being Human and produced the documentary Crip Camp about the groundbreaking summer camp she and many other disability activists attended as teens. The camp really allowed us to begin to fantasize what we wanted the world to look like, and then also began to question why things weren't happening. Judy Human, activist, author, and hell on wheels. Disabled people are feeling prouder and speaking up, uh, recognizing that disability is a part of who they are. There you go. You'll learn it here.